actually do another video sometime on setting this uh, folding trailer up. Here's are Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, I've been ordering from Harbor Freight Tools since they were just a magazine company back in the 80s. And of course now there's outlets all over the place. So again, I'll cover this uh, as far as setting it up. Uh, today's just a modification. Uh, when you have this all set up and the fact that my driveway is a hill, when I set this out there, it wants to roll. I'm usually dragging it from the front so I can steer it. So then I have to kind of lock my feet in or have somebody with me to throw in one of these chocks here to keep it from moving around. And then, of course, if it's only on one side, it wants to go ahead and teeter left to right as it's going down. So it gets to be kind of a pain. It can be done, but it is kind of a pain in the butt. So today we're going to go ahead. I had an idea about modifying this. And so I can lock this in place something nice and easy so uh, I'll kind of show you what I have in mind so this is stainless steel it's got the little ball on the end here spring loaded what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to blast a hole through here and it's going to go through this bit in here pop off the other side here so when I'm actually maneuvering around then I can just reach down from the front slide this pin through and basically that will go ahead and do it for me that'll lock the wheel in place so let's get some holes drilled and let's see how this works out basically this is what we end up with we have a hole here we have a hole here a bigger hole in the middle because I don't need the little ball fighting with those so after I roll it into position I can just take this thing here oh, need two hands guys okay here we go and I can bend down and just put that in it's got a ball to keep it from falling out and that wheel is locked into position so I never have to worry about these taking off on me or the trailer trying to go down a hill and it's the easiest thing in the world so that's it normal and then with a pin coolest thing I ever thought of man so I just had to do it uh, these are all stainless steel uh, we're actually drilling there I got some clear acrylic I'm gonna go ahead and coat the edges of those holes with and uh, that's it I've had this thing now since now well, let's see here 1996 I guess this is when I went ahead and assembled this thing and it's all modified I can do motorcycle ramps uh, clips clamps all kinds of stuff stake size here I can even carry the canoe which is always nice so and I've got a design where everything is held in place with pins again I'll cover this another time on a different video where I just talk about the trailer but these things are pretty darn cool man Anyway, that's it. Just a short one. Just to get this on YouTube and let you guys have a look. Anybody that has a trailer like this or any other trailer that just wants to modify this wheel so it doesn't take off on you, that's all you have to do. You'd think somebody from the factory would have come up with something like this. We've got the pin. Even oiled the wheel. Where do you put the pin? Well, right here. Ball holds it in place. If somebody really wants to walk by and steal it, have at it. If that'll make your day, all the power to them. I do have a spare so at least I can carry the pin and like I said it is stainless so that's basically the setup so now I never have to worry about the thing trying to get away with get away from me when I'm on a hill